the only experience I've had that mirrors how I feel as an autistic person is doing psychedelics. So here are some ways that they're similar. Senses, really heightened and really overwhelming. When you're an LSD, shit gets bright and things start to squiggle a little bit and your hearing gets more intense and you can hear music in different ways. This is how autistic people go around the world. I'm not saying that, you know, like, we're like hallucinating or things are swirling, but it's pretty fucking intense out here. And having taken a good deal of LSD, having been autistic my whole life, I can tell you pretty similar. What's another similarity? What do we do in both situations? So if someone autistic and someone on LSD, if they're freaking out, what do we do? We give them a room that's really catered to calming them down. Now, Bryce, what's inside these rooms? Calm lighting, pillows and blankets, things that are nice to touch, things that distract to the mind in a repetitive way, so fidget objects, things like that, um, things you can squeeze. Often there's like things like bubble machines, little sandboxes to play with, a lot of playful toys, coloring, spaces to just lay down. Like, these are all things I would put in both an autistic sensory space and a place where I know that someone would need to be if they were having a bad experience on LSD. Let's think about some other ways they're similar. What happens when you're on a psychedelic in terms of language and word construction? It breaks down. It's hard to understand people. Sentences make less sense. You can find yourself talking and not really understanding what you're saying or what other people are saying. Huh, what's that like? Uh, being autistic. Sometimes the words just don't match up. And for some of us, they don't match up to such a huge degree that we can't even talk. Same thing for mobility. You're on LSD sometimes and things get so intense or you're disconnected from your body so much that you can't move. What brain state do I know of? What neurodivergence do I know of that causes people to go immobile, especially when they're at a height of stress? Autism. <laughs> yeah, like both the nonverbal and the non-mobile thing. These are things that happen on LSD because LSD is overwhelming. Okay. Another thing, this is more like scientific, when you're taking a psychedelic, often there's good, there's a lot of evidence that the connectivity in the brain increases, that there's a lot less localized uh, processing of information, and instead areas of the brain communicate with areas of the brain that usually wouldn't communicate. There's also solid evidence that autistic people have less specialized sections, let's say, in like the lobes of their brain. So instead of having like a very segmented brain, our brains are often a little bit more loosey-goosey. The lines between each like functional area tend to blend a little bit more. Another similarity, when psych when you're on a psychedelic, especially like low doses, sometimes you can get really invested in a topic like start throwing in on it and want to know everything about it. What's that like? Who do I know who has things like this? Autistic people, their special interests. We get way focused and super excited about this stuff that autistic people just don't seem to have. Another wild thing. Okay, what happens when you're on LSD? You stop really understanding and definitely stop caring about social norms. People are taking their clothes off, running around, yelling, jumping on things, dancing when they shouldn't. What other people do I know that do that? Not on drugs. Autistic people, this is what we do. We do things that we want to do that feel good. And often those things that feel good are the same things that feel good when I'm doing LSE. So listen, I'm just saying that they're very fucking similar experiences. I think the idea of thinking about the fact that autistic people are tripping harder than holistic people is a solid theory. It's a solid theory.
it's not good, it's not bad, but it's a really good explanation, I think, and a really good kind of framework to think about how autism exists. I do, I think it's an awesome framework. But yeah, give it a thought. What do you think? Because I would love to know what other people think too. I love you so much, and so does Jesus. Bye. <laughs>